This is a product that I purchased on Amazon. This is a coffee dripper. Um, my uh, sister had a certain type of coffee dripper. I believe it was like a ceramic one. It had the the like grill lines on the inside of it, and she actually used paper uh, re a reusable paper filter and put the paper filter into the coffee dripper. Um, you don't have to use the paper filter on this one. There's actually two different types of screens. There's a screen on the outside here that has the holes in it, and then there's a screen on the inside of here that's like a fiber stainless steel fiber woven mesh. Everything on here is stainless. Nothing on here is rusting. Um, I'll go back and I'll actually look at the uh, date when I purchased this and I'll be able to tell you how long I've had this and kind of where it's at and what we found when we used it, um, what we like about it, if there's anything we don't like. But um, you can see the brand right here is this uh, Y-I-T-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So you tell, I'm guessing that's the name, however they want to pronounce it, it's up to them, but um, that's how I'd pronounce it. Um, like I said, this is all stainless steel. So the way this works is you just put this on top of your coffee coffee cup and then it comes with a stainless steel scooper so I use the scooper and scoop out coffee grounds you want to make sure that you get coarse coffee don't get fine ground coffee because it'll clog the filter up so much that the water won't go through um, you could also grind your own coffee but make sure you grind it to a coarse grind not to a fine ground and then I take the scoop and I'll put like three scoops of the coffee that I use in this and then um, you boil water pour hot water in here don't go over the top level or overflow make sure this is not off the side of your coffee or you could knock this over with a bunch of hot water and coffee grounds all over your counter um, it's nice because it has this little rubber ring around the base and that makes it so that if you have a coffee cup that's really wide it kind of stays in place it's not sliding around if you accidentally bump it it's not going to slide around the rubber actually keeps it from sliding around uh, the top has a rubber ring on it as well um, what we ended up finding, and this is actually a replacement rubber ring, it's nice to be able to grip onto the rubber instead of onto the metal. If you've put a lot of hot water in it and the thing has got hot, you don't want to grab it like this because it's going to be hot um, and you're going to get coffee stuff stained all over your hands. But um, to be able to grab the outside of the ring here, but what we found is, so I'll make the, I'll make a cup of coffee. I'll actually I always put the water on the outside edge so that it's kind of pouring all the um, coffee grounds into the center. So um, once I'm done and all my coffee is kind of at the base, what I'll actually do is I'll take it inside a trash can and bang it into the inside of the into the inside of the trash can to knock all the coffee grains out. I don't pour all the coffee grains down the sink. I think I read somewhere that if you pour the coffee grains, the majority of the coffee grains that are in here, if you just pour it all down the sink, then it can actually cause clogs in your um, septic system. I don't know that for sure. I'm not gonna test it. So I clean out the majority of it through um, just knocking out in the trash can. But what I found was the edge of the metal on here, it's not so sharp that I'm gonna cut my finger if I um, rub my finger over it, but it's it's not rounded enough that eventually what ends up happening is it actually, the inside metal cuts through the outside, um, all the way through this rubber. And so the rubber piece was sliced all the way through about that wide and it just, it just kind of falls over and then the rubber's coming across here and. Um, so I contact the company and just let them know that that was an issue and they actually just sent me a free replacement. They have, actually have an upgraded version of this now that doesn't have the ring all the way around. It's just a little thumb tab, but um, we were on vacation over 4th of July weekend and uh, somebody was banging the coffee grounds out in the, to in the trash can and the little tab fell off and they didn't notice and so we actually lost the tab. So I put this ring on it, um, the replacement that they sent me, the free replacement. So. I've seen um, a couple comments on this where people have said uh, that this, the area between the two meshes gets full of the coffee grounds. Maybe if you're using fine, that might be an issue. I haven't noticed that. I'm not noticing that there's anything coming out later. I can wash this thing out and if I put water through it, it comes out clear. It's not just constantly filtering coffee out of this. But um, another thing I saw, and it might come from the same thing that we're doing where we're banging the coffee grounds out of this um, drip filter is um, where these two, the cone and the bottom plate come together. Um, it's some kind of, um, I don't know if it's a, a some kind of tack weld or how that's actually put together in the bottom here, but um, they, I've seen pictures where the cone has broken off the base plate um, we haven't had that issue as long as we've had it. It's not loose. It's not about to break. I don't have any issues with that. So um, if this 
If this is something that you're looking for, you just want a nice, um, all, like I said, all stainless. It's got the rubber rings around it and it comes with a scooper for as cheap as this was. I think it was like 20 bucks. Uh, Might have even been less. So um, for that price, I would just go and buy one. Um, if you're looking for this kind of coffee, um, if you're looking for something to make coffee this way, we don't we don't use a coffee pot. We don't have a Keurig. Um, so this is, this is actually kind of cool for me. I like to do it. I like to put the coffee in and just pour the coffee pour the water through it and just let the coffee um let the coffee brew in the through the dripper but um i think one of the things to remember is they say when you first go to pour the water into the coffee just pour enough water in to fill it one time and let the coffee kind of um seep into the coffee let the water seep into the coffee grounds instead of just constantly pouring water and then just having the whole cup full. So I believe the term is a uh, bloom. You let the coffee bloom. Um, so you pour the coffee in, you'll see it kind of expand and it kind of it rises up inside the, the kind of when it's the coffee grounds are still dry and then you'll see that they all get wet. And then once it all kind of goes down, then fill it again. So what I'll do is I'll pour it in to let it bloom. I'll let it all settle out. I'll pour in, and like I said, I, I kind of pour around the edges so it kind of keeps all the grounds in the middle. And then um, I'll do that a couple times to get like a 10 or even 12 ounces of coffee out of one um, batch. And so you can pick for yourself how much coffee, if you want less or more, less scoops or more scoops. Um, but just something for you to tinker with for your own personal preference. But I think this is a good quality product customer service is great on Amazon uh, with the company that this came from so um, I think it's worth purchasing and so what I'll do is I'll just put the link in the description um, if this is something that helped you or something that you if if you've already purchased it and you had something that you liked or didn't like about it you can post in the comments um, just like the video share the video comment on the video um, you know, you can subscribe to the channel and anytime I have a uh, new video pop up, it'll just automatically notify you. And uh, you can share the channel as well. This is a new channel, so I'm trying to get the word out. So we'll do more product reviews and uh, just keep posting videos and just try to help people out. Hopefully the research that I do saves you time and saves you money. Appreciate you watching.